Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 7, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. The link is down below. So, uh, well... I think everybody has been paying attention to what happened is happening in the United States, and that of course has had its effect on the market late in the afternoon, and probably will also have uh, later on when the market reopens again. So uh, we'll start by looking at the Great Great British Pound and the U.S. dollar, and as you can see, we have been up and down basically everywhere today. We broke down towards the 20 exponential. It is still holding, so that is still uh, massive support. Uh, we rallied also up towards uh, 1366, and at the moment we're trading at the 1360. Um, at this current stage, I think it's just a matter of time before we rally. As long as the 20 exponential is holding, and this is going to go one way, and that is basically up. We need to take out this previous highs here in order to go significantly higher here. It may take some time because at the moment we are on the edge of being overbought. So we may see some back and forward. If we were to break below the 20 exponential, then the 40 and 50 offer uh, a lot of support underneath. So this is even better buying opportunities down here. If we look at the other technical indicators, MACD is still uh, bullish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bullish. And uh, we are basically in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band. So pullbacks towards the 20 buying opportunity the same but even better for the 40 and 50 uh, moving average so let's look at the us dollar yen we rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential it was a massive resistance then broke down again to these very lows and now we're trading at uh, roughly 103 uh, 0 to 6 at this point i think that uh, additional rallies up towards the 20 exponential are to be expected if you look at the technical indicators they are at the moment bearish but they are showing signs of basically live so they could turn around that could mean that we will round off here go back towards the 20 exponential probably the 40 or the 50 before we go even lower in this market so we are fairly close to the bottom of this range you can see basically we did the same thing a few weeks ago based a month ago and then rallied all the way up towards the 50 and the 40 before breaking down again and i think that we'll probably see a similar move so at the moment, no interest of basically buying into this um, because um, it is basically in the middle of nowhere. If we were to break down all the way down to this channel, similar to this, then yes, it's a major buying opportunity. Otherwise, I would wait until it goes higher um, and then basically start shorting it. So let's look at Euro, US dollar. We continue our rally here. It was fairly expected to continue. And uh, because the 20 exponential is basically massive support at this point. And if we cannot break through this, then there's only one way, and that is basically up. Technical indicators for the euro US dollar are very bullish. We are fairly overstretched. So we ex expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. You can see that we are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. And usually when that happens, we have a fall towards the 20 moving average, and that's roughly at 12.22 at this point. Other indicators are basically very bullish. We don't have a lot of room to the upside. We're on the edge of being overbought. So a pullback to the 20, that is basically your buying opportunity. So Aussie US dollar, we had gapped enormously today and we're trading at 0, uh, 78, and we haven't been this high for a very, very, very long time. We actually have to go all the way back to 2018 in order to see the Aussie US dollar at this current state. But we are significantly overstretched. So expect a pullback towards the 20 moving average. That's roughly 2.15% uh, fall. We are significantly uh, overbought at this uh, current stage. We're at 88 here. And uh, yes, a pullback is expected. We can also see here on the Bollinger Band, we're trading outside of the Bollinger Band, and therefore we should expect a pullback. Other indicators are still bullish, so it may take a while before this turns around but it is possible to short it it is also part of the better uh, is to basically wait for it to pull back towards the 20 and then buy into this so us dollar canadian dollar 
we have basically been all over the place today and roughly ended up where we basically started. We went even lower today. We we're, were all the way down to 1263. Uh, we are oversold at this current stage. We are also trading outside of the Bollinger Band and pulled back. And at this stage, I think that a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that would make uh, quite a lot of sense. So this is a roughly a move of nearly 1%. And uh, when that occurs, if they, you turn around there, then you can start shorting again. So to buy into this or short this at this current stage, that is uh, technically just a gamble. You need a pullback similar to this or this one in order to short this market because we are in a downtrend and this is going to go lower. So at this current stage, we are oversold. And when the RSI is this low, it's not a good idea to enter a short here. Otherwise, other technical indicators are very negative at this current stage. So a pullback towards a 20, 40, or 50, that is basically your entry point for a short. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.